All right, so in the last section we talked about some of the math functions, and those are called aggregate functions. All right, so there's minimum, count, max, average. Those are all aggregation functions. Now the group by statement or function is used to, um, it's used in conjunction with the aggregate functions to group the result set um, by whatever column that you want to group it as. All right, so let me give you an example. It's, it's a lot easier to show than to try to explain. Uh, so I'm just going to do a select um, customer and then I want to count the, uh, we'll count all. All right, so I'm going to select the count and the customer. I'm going to select this as, um, just to make it look neater, number of orders from orders where customer is equal to one. All right, so let me copy this. So let's run this and see what happens. So we're getting from the orders table, uh, we're getting the amount of products or the, the amount of orders that customer one has made. All right, so customer one has four orders. All right, so we could keep going. We could check customer two. Customer two has three orders. But what if we want to put this in a table uh, where we can have the customer in, uh, in their orders? We want all records, not, not these individual ones. So we can use group by to do that. All right, so let's put that back in here. And it's instead of where customer equals one, Okay, we're going to get rid of that, and we're just going to say group by customer. All right, so let's run that, and we have a col uh, two columns. One is the customer ID, and then we have one for the number of orders. So you can see that customer one is four, two is three, and then it shows it shows all the orders that have been made. All right, so that's extremely helpful. Now let's make this a little more complicated and, and, and more readable because right now we just have a customer heading with a bunch of numbers. So that's not a very uh, human readable list. So what, what we can do is join in the customers table and have the actual, the customer's name and then the number of orders. All right, so let's go back here. All right, so this will be quite a big query, so I'm gonna have multiple lines. All right, so I want, from the orders table, I want customer, which is, is just the ID of the customer. And I'm gonna use an alias. I want this to say customer ID. Okay, comma, and then we wanna bring in the customers table say customers dot first name as first name last name as last name and finally we want to count the records okay count and we want that to have a alias uh, we'll just say number of orders okay that's good this is going to be from the orders table and then we want to join we want to do an inner join of the customers table and we need to have this on clause because we need to link them we need to create the relationship or specify the relationship. So orders.customer is going to equal customers.id. And then finally, we need our group by. Group by customer. And let's, let's add an order by as well. We'll order by the, um, actually here we'll say group by 
orders dot customer and then order by um, customers dot first name all right so hopefully I didn't make any mistakes in there let's run that all right guess I did customer all right so that should be customers pl plural where is that right here all right so now if we go down we have the customer ID we have the first name and that's what this list is being ordered by is the first name last name and number of orders now this worked absolutely fine but it's I guess that it's not um, valid SQL because you're supposed I guess I'm not exactly sure on this but I've read it a few different places whatever that you're choosing up here in the select list you should include in your group by statement alright so all we want to do here is just also include um, customers dot first name and customers dot last name all right because we have those in the select statement up here so they're supposed to be in in the group by as well all right so if we run that we get the same thing all right but this time I guess it's valid SQL all right so we've hit on all the um, all the fundamental stuff that you need to know when dealing with MySQL and the SQL language um, SQL obviously is not only used with MySQL it's it, there's a, a lot of different SQL based databases that you can use um, and I'm sure that we have other courses on those databases as well uh, so what we're gonna do next is pretty much the only um, fundamental thing that we need to do and that's create a simple application that will run in the browser and interact with our database and it's not going to be a, a full-blown application but you'll see how we can interact PHP with MySQL